In this video, we're going to demonstrate placing turnouts. Uh, we're actually going to place a series of turnouts along a couple of alignments. In this example, we have a horizontal alignment that was created through regression. And uh, prior to placing the turnouts, uh, we created a, a horizontal offset alignment that is 5 meters to the right of the regressed alignment. Uh, and this is a proposed track that we're going to connect using a series of turnouts. So to create the turnout, I have uh, added a custom toolbar for the horizontal, um, for the geometry turnout commands. So we're going to place uh, and create a turnout. For this first turnout, we're just going to place um, the method is in alignment. The alignment that we're going to attach it to is horizontal regress, which is this, uh, this alignment here on the top. The station, um, we can specify a station. We're going to end up doing interactive just to show how we can specify some of these values on the fly as we're placing the turnout. Okay, we're going to uh, give this turnout a name. We'll just call this turnout 1. And for the, the type, we're just going to use a single. Uh, you can place single, double, um, single slip, double slip, and diamond crossing uh, turnouts. But we're going to do a single, and I want this one to have a 190-foot, um, uh, sorry, 190-meter radius uh, with a 1 to 9 ratio. So I'm going to use E491909. Okay, the placement point is going to be point 0.1. And then, again, this doesn't matter because we're going to do interactive, but I can specify it being a right hand and, and leading. And it would play, if I hit apply, it would place it at that station coming along this line in this direction, and it would be a right hand turnout. But I'm going to choose interactive. I'm going to identify the main line alignment. And then I'm going to identify the points. As you see, if I track, uh, it, this turnout will track to the station where my cursor is at the point one point on the turnout. Okay, so I'm going to select this station here and identify orientation point. So this is you know, left side or right side. Okay, so this is a leading and we're leading to the right. So I'm going to place it over on the left. I'm sorry, to place it on the right side. And then I want to accept to accept the placement of that turnout. And now you can see under our geometry project, we have turnout one created. Okay, so now that I have that turnout created, I'm going to go in and create another turnout that's going to be a trailing turnout that's going to uh, transition from this alignment into our right track alignment. So for this for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and select some station values. Um, Let me select the right track alignment, pick the correct station, and we're going to call this turnout two. Okay, this is going to be a right hand, and this is going to be a trailing transition. Okay, so it places our alignment. Uh, all right, places our turnout on our alignment. Okay, and I'm going to do this one last time. Um, we're going to come down here and we're going to do this transition again. So we're going to have one turnout from our uh, our horizontal regression to our right track. And then we're going to have another turnout a little further down here that's going to be from our right track back to our uh, horizontal regression. I'm just going to place one turnout, turnout three, and this is going to be a, a leading transition on the left for our uh, on our right track. We'll just specify that station there and apply. And we get that last station. The only reason I'm going to place one here is I'm going to show in the character that we can actually create a turnout on this horizontal regression alignment that ties in so it'll connect it and create the turnout. Okay, so let's move back up here to our, our first place. Now we're going to use the connection editor to connect these two turnouts together. So if we come up to our, our custom customized toolbar, select connection editor, we're going to select our beginning element, we turn out one, our ending element will be turn out two, and we're just going to connect this with a linear element. Okay, so we're, we're going to just specify a, a generic value here. We're going to free this length because we want this length to adjust to connect these elements together. Okay, so as you can see in this, the temporary view here, 
we have a linear section that is five meters, but they're not connected. Now we're going to free this length here. So if we hit apply, you shouldn't see any change yet because there's not enough free parameters. So what we need to do is we need to adjust this turnout stationing for the point one point as well. So I'm going to free the station and select apply. And you'll see that it has successful completion and it shows that our turnout has moved down this right track alignment. Okay, so we can save that. And now it's created our turnout alignment uh, from turnout one through our connection down to turnout two. Okay. Now let's move down the alignment where we had our uh, just our other single turnout. And we're going to use this to actually create a turnout that connects to the top. Okay, so we're going to come up here to uh, to the create connection command. So we're going to use our beginning turnout is turnout three. And you can see the style and the hill is the first. Uh, we're going to specify a connection length of five. The ending turnout, we're going to call this turnout four. And we're going to use the same turnout, uh, the E49199. And the turnout, the alignment is going to be on our horizontal regression alignment. Okay, yeah. so we hit apply. You'll see that it's taken and it's created our turnout based upon the existing turnout three. And it created our new turnout four and, and connected the turnouts together. That concludes the demonstration on placing a turnout between two alignments.